Chapter 2471, Return of the Emperor, 1. The demons looked at each other. One of them scratched its head. Was it seeing things? But surely they couldn't have possibly seen the same thing together. No, we have to report this matter. One of the demons exclaimed. Meanwhile, Yi Kington, Lu Yuangxian and the rest had entered the ancestral temple and closed the door again. Sculptures of demons were everywhere. The statues were huge and the workmanship was extremely meticulous and lifelike. Is this demon Emperor Yonggel? Jingzi stared at a demon statue in the middle and asked softly. The big yellow dog wagged its tail and squatted beside Yi Kington. It seemed to have no interest in the sculptures of these demons. I think so the Flying Star Academy teacher observed the statue for a moment and nodded. The demon sculpture in the center was extremely imposing. It stood with its hands behind its back, as if it was standing on the clouds and looking down on the common people. Yan Chen, Place the powder of the elixir on the edge of the door and ensure that it will fall once the door is opened, Yi Qingtong instructed Yan Chen. Yan Chen immediately agreed and followed Yi King's instructions. After everything was prepared, they hid behind the statue. Wait, the statue in front of me seems to be Demon Emperor Yongle. The Flying Star Academy teacher was dazed. He did not want to pretend to be a demonic Emperor Yongle. He would much rather be a quiet follower. Teacher Yi King, let's swap. I'll pretend to be a follower while you pretend to be Demon Emperor Yongle. The Flying Star Academy teacher looked at Yi King anxiously. Yi King was the one who thought of the plan. They were following Yi King's instructions and so he should be the one to impersonate Demon Emperor Yongle. Don't move those demons may come in at any time, Yi King Tung said to the Flying Star Academy teacher. Teacher Lu, quick, let's change. Your aura is more like Demon Emperor Yongle's than mine. Seeing that Yi King did not agree, the Flying Star Academy teacher looked at Lu Yuangxian no need. My aura is not as strong as yours. I will be your follower and the demon emperor will be yours. Lu Yuangxian rejected him without any hesitation. Everyone knew that demon emperor Yongle was a hot potato. No one was willing to step up to pretend to be demon emperor Yongle. Still the flying star academy teacher had yet to give up. His gaze fell onto Qin Feng and the others. However, Qin Feng and the others simply turned around and did not look at the Flying Star Academy teacher. The Flying Star Academy teacher's lips twitched. What was the meaning of this? Meanwhile, outside the ancestral temple, the high-level demons of the Yongle tribe finally arrived. The Yongle tribe's flag fluttered in the wind, looking extraordinarily magnificent. Report, seeing that the higher-ups had arrived. The three demons responsible for guarding the ancestral temple immediately rushed forward. What? Enemies are invading? Seeing the demons in front of it in a panic, one of the burly demons frowned and asked, No, no, great demon Han. The three of us just saw a miracle. The first demon guard said excitedly, A miracle? All the demons bore strange expressions. We saw demon emperor Yongle just now. He stepped on a cloud and disappeared in a flash. What did you say? Han's expression changed. They saw demon emperor Yongle. That's right. The three of us saw it together. It can't be wrong. However, we don't know where it went. It disappeared instantly. It's like a dream. Could it be that demon emperor Yongle is returning? Hash. Chapter 2472, Return of the Emperor, 2. Han looked at the frail and cold demon beside him and asked, Gu, what do you think? Hearing that, the weak-looking demon said, Don't you dare say anything about this or mention it to any demon. We never saw whether any divinity appeared with our own eyes. You're right, Gu, I love your intelligence. Han said to Gu with a slight smile. Gu was speechless, let's go pay our respects. Han let the other demons stay to guard the cave as he entered the ancestral hall. In the Yongle tribe, only the higher rank demons were allowed to enter the ancestral hall. The lower rank demons could only look at the annual event in the ancestral hall from afar. Yi Qingtong and Lu Yuangxian hid behind the demon statue as they heard footsteps approaching them. Oh my god this is too thrilling. Lei Yan's face was filled with tension, he had never been in such a dangerous situation before. Be careful and act based on the situation. Yi Qingtong ordered, as soon as the words were out of her mouth, the door to the ancestral hall opened with a loud creak. Han and Ge had just pushed open the door. The powdered elixirs that they had hidden at the edge of the door scattered across the two demons. 
The elixir was colorless and odorless and was hard to detect. Even if the demons were to discover the powder, they would have no idea what it was. They suddenly sensed Han staring at the statue within the ancestral hall and everyone turned cold. Not only Han, but the frail demon was also earing the statue. As Han stared at the statue, a demon dragon roared. In the next second, all the statues in the ancestral hall opened their eyes. The eyes of these legendary demons were shining with light and filled with danger. A gust of cold and ancient air blew towards them. The Yongle demon emperor in the center seemed as though it was the king of the skies and earth. Just one look from it was enough to make people want to worship it. Han's head went blank as he looked at the sight in front of him. How could this be happening? He suddenly recalled what the three demons guarding the ancestral hall had said that miracles were going to happen. Yongle tribe, my children. The Yongle Demon Emperor's voice was enough to split the sky. Han could feel his legs going weak as he lost his balance and collapsed onto the ground. Was this real? Their king had not abandoned them. Their Yongle Emperor was back. But before Han could think of anything else, everything reverted back to its original form. Although the statues were still there, they were no longer moving. The Yongle Emperor and other demons which had been in front of them had vanished as well, as though they were never there in the first place this. What's happening how can this be? Han's face was filled with shock. Where was their emperor? What they had just witnessed was like a dream. He couldn't tell if it was real or fake. But no matter what, Han could confirm that what he had just witnessed was a miracle, and could not be fake. Gu, Gu. Han looked at the demon Gu beside him. I saw that Tuga's face was filled with shock as well and he knew what Han wanted to tell him. Gu, you're the best, you understand me so well. Han said excitedly. Gu was speechless, but Han froze before he could say anything else. Because him, Gu froze as well. Hash, Chapter 2473, Return of the Emperor, 3. On top of the statues were a group of girls and boys who were staring at them blankly. Humans. No, where are you all from? How dare you disrespect the Ongol tribe? Han looked at the group sitting on the statues in anger. The human skins on these demons were rather beautiful, but there were two who were older and their skins were slightly ugly. How dare you! Yi Kington's cold gaze swept across the two of them. Children of Yongel, how dare you not show your respects to us? As soon as the words were out of her mouth, Han and Gu's expressions changed completely. They looked at each other as they recalled what had just happened. Children of Yongle not showing their respects. You you are may I ask Gu looked at Yi King Tung and asked with a scowl. How dare you? Yi King Tung said coldly. Hiss. As soon as she said that, Han and Gu shrunk away and gasped. The miracle that they had just witnessed. Gu and Han looked subconsciously at the elder on top of the statue of the Yongle demon emperor. The elder seemed to have an otherworldly air to him. Then what about the miracle we just witnessed? Han's voice was shaking. Hearing the word miracle, Yi King Tung silently heaved a sigh of relief. She was afraid that the demons would not be wishing for the return of the demon emperor. If that was the case, they would be in big trouble. But it seemed like she had worried too much. The Yongle tribe's faith was the strongest in this place. Since you already witnessed the miracle, worshippers immediately. Lu Yuanxian, who was at the side, spoke furiously. His voice was mixed with magic and it was easy to get caught up in it if someone was not careful. Yi Kington glanced at him. He was smart to have started using his magic. Gu is this real, or am I dreaming? Han hadn't regained his senses yet. Gu was already kneeling on the ground in excitement. Seeing this, Han's mind cleared and he quickly knelt as well. There was no other explanation other than the fact that the Yongle Demon Emperor was back. Who is the general of the Yongle tribe now? The Flying Star Academy teacher, who had been silent till now, said lightly. It it's Zhang. Han didn't dare lie. Bring him here. I want to meet him alone. The Flying Star Academy teacher shut his eyes after saying this. What are you waiting for? Gin Feng said coldly. Yes 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 yes. Han nodded profusely and retreated with a bow. 
shutting the door to the ancestral hall. The two demons didn't say a single word after leaving the ancestral hall and quickly ran towards the headquarters of the Yongle tribe. Yi Kington only sighed with relief after Han and Ge left. I thought I was going to die of fear. There was a sheen of cold sweat on the Flying Star Academy teacher's forehead. How was this something that a human could do? Lu Yuangxian was shocked as well. He had lived for a long time but this was the first time he was encountering such a situation. Yan Chen, continue leaving the powder at the door, Yi Qingtong instructed. Wasting no time, Yan Chen quickly did as asked. Fortunately for them, the demons in this space had never heard of such an elixir before which could make them hallucinate, otherwise, they would not have been tricked so easily. But Zhang was the Yongle tribe general and would be more cautious. They had to get him in one shot and leave no room for suspicion. Hash, Chapter 2474 Ancestor King, 1. The people with Yi Kington were extremely cautious as well. Even though they had managed to trick the two demons, there was still the general. Everything would be settled if they managed to trick the general. But if they failed to convince him, they would be dead before the other demons even got to them. Boss, I'm done. Yan Chen looked at her. Very good. Come back. Yi Kington nodded slightly and said. After all the preparations had been made. All that was left was for General Zhang to open the door. Could I stop being the Yongle Emperor? How about someone else plays the role? I don't think I'm acting it out well. The Flying Star Academy teacher looked at Yi King and the rest of them. It was a stretch for him to even imitate a follower. They thought too highly of him to have him play the Emperor. What are you talking about? You're being too humble. With that great atmosphere just now, the two Yongle tribe demons were deceived successfully by you. Among all of us, you're the one with the greatest qualifications and most experience. Teacher Yi and I are nothing compared to you. Lu Yuangxian looked at the Flying Star Academy teacher and said with a smile, that's why you're the only one who can play the role of the Yongle demon emperor. We don't have the qualification. How dare you try to flatter me the Flying Star Academy teacher snapped. What a joke. Who do you think I am? You can go out and ask around. I don't ever flatter people, only speak the truth, Lu Yuangxian said with a straight face. That's right. He's completely right. Teacher Lu only speaks the truth. Lei Yan quickly chimed in. Nan Gong Lai looked at the Flying Star Academy teacher and said, What are you afraid of? We'll all be dying together with you if you're exposed. We're all in the same boat here. The Flying Star Academy teacher looked at them as the edge of his lip started twitching. Words were cheap. They should try playing the role of the Yongle Demon Emperor themselves. Just as they were speaking, a set of footsteps approached them from outside the Ancestral Hall. They quickly fell silent and waited grimly. General, we won't enter this time. The ancestor made it clear that they wanted you to go alone. Han and Gu's voices floated in from the outside. The door to the ancestral hall was quickly pushed open. The figure who entered was a tall man with a coldly handsome face. It was apparent that the Yongle tribe general was wearing a human skin. As the door opened, the elixir powder that Yun Chen had hidden in the door spread silently. In just a few breaths, the man's eyes filled with shock and disbelief. He seemed to have seen a demon dragon hovering between heaven and earth as well as a pair of eyes reflecting the sun, moon and stars. The Yongle demon emperor seemed to descend from the sky. However, it left as quickly as it came. The dreamlike scene in front of him quickly vanished, as though it was never real. Everything returned to how it once was. The man's forehead furrowed as it looked at the statue of the Yongle demon emperor again. State your name. Yi Qingtong spoke up as she looked at the man standing in the ancestral hall. Zhang, he said calmly as his gaze landed on Yi Qingtong. She frowned as she saw his demeanor. This one was completely different from Han and Gu just now, as expected from a general. She was afraid that it would be hard to trick him. I heard that the Yongle demon emperor descended from the skies. The younger ones were shocked and could not welcome you properly. I hope you do not hold their rudeness against them. The general said to the Flying Star Academy teacher, Hash, Chapter 2475, Ancestor King, 2. It does not matter, the Flying Star Academy teacher said after a long pause, I wonder which celestial world you have been to. Rumors are that you've been there. The man said, We shall not speak of that. 
the Flying Star Academy teacher said as he looked at the man. How would he know whether the Yongle Demon Emperor had been to the Celestial World or not? It would be wiser for him to speak less. This is bad. Yi Kington's brows were furrowed. The general was too powerful and it was difficult for the Flying Star Academy teacher to work his magic. They would expose themselves if this went on. All right, since you are not willing to tell me, I shall not ask the man nodded then paused before continuing, but the return of the Yongle Demon Emperor to this world is extremely shocking. I hope that you will not blame the younger generation for not giving you a proper welcome. Lu Yuanxian and Yi Kington's expressions changed as they heard that. How could this general be this cautious? His willpower was extremely strong. I am interested. What do you think? The Flying Star Academy teacher smiled as interest sparked in his eyes. Yi Kington subconsciously looked at the Flying Star Academy teacher. Unexpectedly, his mental strength was rather strong as well and he could still pretend to be nonchalant even in such a situation. You once commanded all sides to battle the world, forcing everyone else to surrender to you. If I were to be so bold as to seek some advice from you if I have offended you, please punish me as you like. Of course. If you do not do so, I will make sure to punish my subordinates harshly. They will not protest. The Ongle tribe general said loudly as he fixed his soul-piercing eyes on the Flying Star Academy teacher. The Flying Star Academy teacher steadied himself for his death. He already said that he had no intention of playing the role of this damned Yongle demon emperor. Now he was stuck in this position with no way out. The Flying Star Academy teacher instinctively wanted to look at Yi King but the Yongle tribe general was staring at him. He couldn't look away, and more importantly, could not show any fear in his eyes. You want me to fight you, insolent brat? How dare you! Before the Flying Star Academy teacher could finish speaking. The edges of the Yongle tribe general's lips curled into a chilling smile. Without giving the Flying Star Academy teacher a chance to speak at all, a cold light flashed in his eyes. The cold light was like the light of death. It seemed like it could disintegrate anything within a second. In the face of that gleam of frostiness, the Flying Star Academy teacher couldn't think of anything at all. His mind went blank and he could only wait for the arrival of his death without speaking another word. But before the light could reach him, Yi Kington quickly reacted. Jumping in front of the Flying Star Academy teacher, with a wave of her sleeve, the light of death turned into a vast ocean and spilled onto the ground. This sudden event shocked everyone. Lu Yuanxian, Qin Feng and the rest of them stared at Yi Kington like she was a ghost. What had just happened? Yi King had turned the Yongle tribe general's light of death into water with just a wave of his hand? How did he do that? The Yongle tribe general was taken aback. The attack had once injured the great general of the Xihai tribe. Even he himself had taken some damage. Ash, Chapter 2476, Ancestor King, 3. The Yongle tribe general gaped at Yi Kington. He could not even begin to understand how she had done that. Not only had she destroyed his powerful move, but she had also turned his demon power into water. This had exceeded the limits of his understanding. This was something that was beyond the limits of what he could fathom. And towards this mystery, he felt a great sense of fear. How dare you! With that, Yi Kington glared at the Yongle tribe general and snapped furiously, How dare you offend the demon emperor! You deserve to die! This! The Yongle tribe general frowned deeply. Could this elder really be the Yongle demon emperor? How else could his subordinate have done such a thing? Neil, Lu Yuanxian regained his senses and shouted angrily at the Yongle tribe general as he glared at him. Please forgive me, demon emperor. Without further thoughts, the Yongle tribe general quickly knelt in front of the Flying Star Academy teacher. After a few seconds of silence, the Flying Star Academy teacher laughed lightly and said, Good. Very good. You were cautious and admitted your mistakes. I see that the Yongle tribe has produced good talents. As soon as the words were out of his mouth, the Yongle tribe general froze. Demon Emperor, how can we let this slide? This rude general should be killed. Lu Yuanxian said. The Flying Star Academy teacher's lips twitched as he heard that. Was Lu Yuanxian a fool? He wanted to kill off the Yongle tribe general? He could do it himself then. Did he really think he was the real demon emperor? Was he becoming too immersed in this facade? Fuh, Lu, you are too narrow-minded. You cannot see how talented the younger generation is. The Flying Star Academy teacher smiled and continued. 
Well, since you think that his mistakes are unforgivable, you can execute him then. Hearing that, Lu Yuangxian quickly said with a straight face, what the demon emperor is trying to teach you is that his subordinates are indeed narrow-minded. When faced with someone claiming to be the demon emperor, as the Yongle tribe general, it's better to be cautious. The Flying Star Academy teacher threw Lu Yuangxian a look as he said that. This damned man, changing his attitude so quickly. Zhang, I deem you innocent. You're not the only person that has knelt down here all these years. Get up. The Flying Star Academy teacher said lightly. Yes. The Yongle tribe general got up without saying too many words. What is the matter? You have nothing else to say. Do you still suspect my identity? The Flying Star Academy teacher said as he noticed how quiet the general was. No, I would never dare. I just confirmed your identity and my mind is blank right now. The Yongle tribe general said with cupped fists. Oh. So you are being honest. Tell me how the Yongle tribe has been all these years then. The Flying Star Academy teacher said, Ancestor since you were not here, you are probably unfamiliar with the situation right now. It is quite chaotic outside right now. The Yongle tribe is doing fine, but a few years ago, the Xihai tribe disrespected you, leading to a conflict and then a great war. The Yongle tribe general said, Are you referring to my statue? The Flying Star Academy teacher asked. That's right. The Yongle tribe general said as he nodded. Good. I see that you are filial. The Flying Star Academy teacher said nonchalantly. Before they had arrived, he killed a few Xihai tribe demons on the way the Flying Star Academy teacher's eyes landed on Yi King as he spoke. How do I address this ancestor? The Yongle tribe general asked. King, she said. Greetings, Ancestor King. Hash. Chapter 2477, Chasing Them, 1. Yi Kington looked at the Yongle tribe general and nodded without saying anything else. Meanwhile, the big yellow dog was sitting on her lap, wagging its tail non-stop. Hey, little kid, why aren't you inviting us back with you? That's right, prepare more food for me, and make sure that the food is prepared with care. My stomach is very delicate. The big yellow dog told the Yongle tribe general. The Yongle tribe general froze as he heard the big yellow dog speak. Ancestor King, this is the Yongle tribe general stared at Yi Kington, not understanding the situation. Hearing that, Yi Kington's mouth twitched and she said, My celestial pet. Celestial pet. The Yongle tribe general looked at the big yellow dog. It didn't look like one at all. Is there a problem? The big yellow dog asked. No, I was just curious. Please forgive me. I will make sure to prepare the food properly, the great general quickly said. Good, the big yellow dog said as it nodded. Since that's the case, please wait for a moment as I prepare the accommodations before inviting you back, the great general said as he looked at the Flying Star Academy teacher. Go with that. The Flying Star Academy teacher waved his hands. The Yongle tribe general quickly retreated. Everyone heaved a sigh of relief after the Yongle tribe general left. Boss, I don't think the Yongle tribe general completely believed what we said, Kin Feng told Yi Kington. Yi Kington frowned and did not rebuke him. He was right. The Yongle tribe general still had his doubts towards them but he didn't dare act rashly right now. He was going to continue observing them after inviting them back. What should we do then? Won't we be walking towards our death if we follow him back? Nangong Lai's face was filled with surprise. That's right. Look at how calm the Yongle tribe general was. He was nothing compared to the two demons before him. I'm afraid that if we follow him back to the Yongle tribe, we'll be exposed if we're not careful and that'll be the end of us, Lei Yan said with a sigh. Having said that, it was still clear to them that even though their situation was not great, it beat staying outside. The tracking marks were still on them, which meant that the Xihai tribe demons would never let them go. Rather than waiting for their death here, it would be better to follow the Yongle tribe general back to the Yongle tribe. Furthermore, it wouldn't be long before Yi King could take them out of this damned place. Taking advantage of the Yongle tribe general's absence, they discussed their situation for a while before deciding to return to the Yongle tribe with the great general. After a long while, 
the Yongle tribe general returned and invited them back to the tribe. The higher-ups of the Yongle tribe pulled over a carriage to bring them back to the tribe. The Yongle tribe was located near the Xihai tribe and the entire mountain belonged to the Yongle tribe. The Yongle tribe had almost no conflicts at all in this space. Apart from the conflict with the Xihai tribe, it had almost no contact with the other tribes at all. The Flying Star Academy teacher, Yi Qingtong and the rest of them were arranged to stay in the west wing of the Yongle tribe. During the weekdays, apart from the great general, no one was to set foot in the area. At this moment, in a great hall of the Yongle tribe, great ancestor, please let me know what to do this time. If there's anything I can help with, you only need to ask. The Yongle tribe general told the Flying Star Academy teacher, Hash, chapter 2478, chasing them. Too. I was thinking of the Yongle tribe this time when I came back, but I can see that the Yongle tribe isn't as good as it was in the past and seeing this, I cannot rest assured. The Yongle tribe general fell silent as he heard this. With the Yongle tribe's current might, they couldn't compete with the more powerful tribes in this space. They couldn't even deal with the Xihai tribe. Lu Yuanxian was speaking the truth and the Yongle tribe general had no explanation for it. We are nothing compared to your great ancestors, the Yongle tribe general finally said. Don't worry, I don't plan on letting the Yongle tribe fall any further. You can leave for now. I will inform you if I need anything. The Flying Star Academy teacher waved his hand. Understood. The Yongle tribe general got up and left. Now, all they had to do was stay in this room until Yi King regained his strength and brought them out of this space. As they were in the Yongle tribe, which meant that even if the Xihai tribe were to follow their tracking marks here, it wouldn't be easy to get to them. After two days, Yi Qingtong's control over the deity ocean had more or less recovered. She just needed two more days before she could bring them out of there. But her eyes darted around as she thought of a few problems. She could bring people inside the deity ocean, so could she bring those inside out of this space? Of course, it was just a passing thought and she had no intention of actually doing so. This space was filled with demons after all, and even though there were still many unknown areas, she had not found her footing yet and there was no way she could capture a demon to try it out. Before she could continue on her train of thoughts, a knock came from the door. Yes, Yi Kington replied. The great general pushed open the door. Ancestor King, there are urgent matters that we need to discuss. Kindly head to the main hall, the Yongle tribe general said. All right Yi Kington nodded her head in agreement. She quickly followed the Yongle tribe general to the main hall. The Flying Star Academy teacher, Lu Yuanxian and the rest were already there. With the arrival of Yi Kington, everyone was present. Speak. What is it? Lu Yuanxian asked, Ancestors, it's the Xihai tribe the great general spoke frankly. The Xihai tribe, everyone fell into thought as they heard this. Did that mean that the Xihai tribe was coming straight for the Yongle tribe? The Xihai tribe general's only son was murdered. He has already surrounded us, insisting that the murderer is within our ranks. I remembered that ancestor king mentioned something about killing the Xihai tribe so the Yongle tribe general looked at Yi Kington. That's right. Yi Qingtong said expressionlessly, I killed him. With that, the Yongle tribe general fell silent. No one knew what he was thinking. What, so you are saying that the current Xihai tribe dares to lead its entire army to surround my Yongle tribe? The Flying Star Academy teacher said as he glanced at the Yongle tribe general. I apologize for my incompetence in the past few years. The difference in power between the Yongle tribe and the Xihai tribe meant that we've never been able to make them retreat, the Yongle tribe general said. Yi Kington glanced at the Yongle tribe general. So this was the final test for them? The Yongle tribe was definitely not weak, or they would have been swallowed by the Xihai tribe a long time ago, given their proximity. The Yongle tribe general had only said this to test their strength. If the Yongle tribe general really believed their identity, there was no way he would let the Xihai tribe surround the Yongle tribe. Hash, chapter 2479, chasing them, 3. The Flying Star Academy teacher suddenly understood the Yongle tribe general's intentions as well. He wanted them to deal with the Xihai tribe personally. He was a great general after all. Even now, 
he was still being cautious and could not trust them completely. The Flying Star Academy teacher frowned as a strange look took over his face. They had risked their lives to come to the Yongle tribe to avoid the Xihai tribe which was hunting them, and now the Yongle tribe general wanted to push them out to deal with the Xihai tribe. What a joke! Yi Kington glanced at the Flying Star Academy teacher. The Yongle tribe general still had his doubt about them and not coming forward would only make him more suspicious. But there was no way they would be able to deal with the Xihai tribe if they were to go out. She suddenly had a great headache. She didn't expect to be caught in such a tough position. At this moment, they could neither stay nor leave. Since that's the case, I will go out and take a look, she said to the Flying Star Academy teacher after a long while. In such a situation, the Flying Star Academy teacher couldn't go himself and had to send someone else in his stead. Lu Yuang Xiang and the others had no other suggestions, so Yi Kington had no choice but to take the initiative to attack. Many thanks to Ancestor King hearing her words. The Yongle tribe general quickly cupped his fist at her. Even though the Flying Star Academy teacher didn't say anything else, he was extremely worried. What was the use of her going out? Wasn't she just going to her death? Even though that was what he was thinking, he didn't dare say these things out loud. He only narrowed his eyes and maintained a look of calm, as though the Xihai tribe did not concern him at all. Ancestor King, I will lead the way. The Yongle tribe general quickly turned his gaze to Yi Kington and gestured for her to go. She could only nod and follow the Yongle tribe general. At the top of the mountain, she broke out in a cold sweat as she looked down. The Xihai tribe had completely surrounded the Yongle tribe. Even a fly would have trouble getting out. A huge demon was riding on a mount above in the sky, its cold gaze seeming to pierce through a thousand creatures. Just a single gaze was enough to make someone freeze. It's you. The Xihai tribe general riding on the mount in the sky called out in a booming voice that shook the skies when he saw Yi Kington. His voice made her ears ache. She stared at the Xihai tribe general without saying a word, her mind thinking of countermeasures. She could still use the mirror of illusions one more time but it was not going to be easy to scare the Xihai tribe general. Xihai tribe general, how presumptuous of you to not be respecting your ancestor, the Yongle tribe general said coldly as he looked at the Xihai tribe general. Ancestor? Hearing the Yongle tribe general's words, the Xihai tribe general sneered and said, Zhang. You really are regressing more the longer you live. Stop fantasizing about the return of the demon emperor. You're still dreaming and still haven't woken up. I won't argue with you any further. Since you've offended the ancestors, it's the end of the Xihai tribe, the Yongle tribe general said. The Xihai tribe general laughed wildly and said, All right, I want to see how good your so-called ancestor is, that she can destroy my Xihai tribe. Since she killed my son, not only is she to blame, but the entire Yongle tribe is at fault as well. Hash, Chapter 2480, Neil, 1. The big yellow dog, who had been squatting beside Yi Kington, tilted its head and wagged its tail. It yawned and looked at the general of the West Sea tribe expressionlessly. I say you keep chattering non-stop. Are you done? On account of your ignorance? Just count out to me and I'll pretend that this never happened. I'll spare your wretched lives then. Yi Kington glanced at the big yellow dog. It really knew how to talk. The odds were against her today. Yi Kington had racked her brains to think of a way to let the general of the West Sea tribe and General Yongle fight first, but this dog. What did you say? After hearing what the big yellow dog said. A cold glint flashed across the eyes of the West Sea tribe general. A dog wanted him to kneel down and apologize, so that it would spare his life. Haven't I made myself clear, kid? The yellow dog continued. Kneel and show your gratitude. You're a demon of this world and more or less related to demon emperor Yongle. So I don't wish to kill you all. It seems you have a death wish. Immediately. The West Sea tribe general let out a furious roar. The mountains nearby shook from his roar. All right, I guess you don't know what's good for you. You rather do this the hard way. In that case, I won't spare you any more. The big yellow dog immediately looked at Yi Kington and wagged its tail. Ancestor King, just use any divine ability you have to let these little fellows know what is called an insurmountable chasm. Yi Kington looked at the big yellow dog meaningfully. What exactly did this dog want to do? Even if she used a killer move, 
the West Sea tribe general probably wouldn't even shed a single strand of hair. Wasn't this dog deliberately throwing her into a fire pit? Don't worry, just use it. Why do you have so many opinions? The big yellow dog muttered softly. Yi Qingtong fell into deep thought. In the wailing well, she had seen it with her own eyes. The big yellow dog had killed an above emperor level monster in one move. Although those above emperor level monsters were not on the same level as these demon generals, the big yellow dog might really have a way. It was useless to say anything now. Yi Qingtong could only give it her all. With that, Yi Kington waved her right arm lightly and a phoenix cry sounded in the air. In the next second, a flaming phoenix with crimson wings flapped its wings and let out a loud cry as it rapidly charged toward the general of the West Sea tribe. What is that? All the demons present stared at the fire phoenix in astonishment. The demons here had never left this realm and did not know any martial art techniques or divine skills. The fire phoenix that Yi Qingtong used was a bloodline divine power and these demons had never seen such a thing before. You dare to utter such arrogant words with just a little trick like that? The West Sea tribe general was surprised for a moment, but he quickly composed himself, even though he didn't know what it was. It didn't pose any threat to him. Yi Qingtong frowned deeply. She knew that it would definitely not work. After all, he was a general of the demon race and it was impossible for him to be easily intimidated by such a mystical ability. Neil. Suddenly, the big yellow dog beside Yi Qingtong shouted angrily. As the yellow dog spoke, Yi Qingtong executed her bloodline ability and the crimson gold fire phoenix's body expanded to a few hundred feet in an instant. Its eyes were like the eyes of the sky and there seemed to be terrifying flames from the azure abyss hidden within. Hash. 